What's up everyone, William H here. Thank you for clicking on my video and today I wanted to share with you guys what I'm going to meal prep for my upcoming work week. So for today's meals, we are gonna be meal prepping chicken thighs with vegetables and some rice, okay? And then the next meal is gonna be ground beef with vegetables, right? Because veggies are important and a side of potatoes, okay? Now, why do I make these videos? I make these video to show you that it's very possible to meal prep and have a regular nine to five job, okay? Now, before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe, 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 and like my video, and I hope you guys enjoy. So for this week's meal prep, I decided to buy my meat in bulk. I got some chicken thighs for two weeks and I got a couple of pounds of ground beef as well. And for my vegetables, I got some cut green beans, some sweet peas, and a California blend bag. Now you can find these ingredients at Walmart for my vegetables. The majority of them, I got them at Walmart. You get some rice and the first thing that I like to do when I meal prep I like to put my vegetables to you know get them nice and steamed up first because they're usually the ones that take a while so right here you see me put the California blend inside the pot and then on top of that I put the little side vegetables in which I like and I put them in the pot as well now a big thing when you meal prep is to keep in mind that you want to do foods that you look forward to eating, right? I remember in my early teens, I would not be a fan of vegetables. But as I started to grow up, I started to educate myself on nutrition. And, you know, I would experiment from vegetable to vegetable. And the ones that I seem to love are green beans, sweet peas, cauliflower, carrots, broccoli. If you're new to this meal prepping game, I would highly suggest for you guys to experiment. Experiment on the type of foods that you like. Experiment how a certain food that you meal prep makes you feel, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, we're doing this for your health, right? Your health is your wealth, guys. And at the end of the day, if you don't feel good after eating, then you probably shouldn't eat what you've been eating, right? So, like I said, Experiment on the foods that you look forward to eating, right? So the next thing that I would do is I would chop up my potatoes. I like to chop them up in little squares, right? But you can chop them up any way you want. I like to meal prep potatoes because they are a great source of fiber, great source of carbs, slow digesting carbs, meaning that it gives you longer energy throughout your day and Another big thing is, a lot of people don't know this, but potatoes have quite a bit of antioxidants. Another thing about potatoes is that some people don't like the skin on it. Honestly, I don't mind it. I feel like if I were to take the time to peel the skin off, you know, it would just take a little bit longer. I like to do this a little bit quick because, you know, they also take a while to cook as well. And when I do these, I like to put a little bit of olive oil on the pan and then just fry it, right? And put the temperature on a medium heat. Now, the only type of oil that I cook with is olive oil. Olive oil is one of the healthiest source of fats that you can consume. Olive oil is anti-inflammatory. It helps with your cholesterol levels. It protects against cardiovascular disease. It helps with your skin and hair. My good people, all in all, olive oil is one of the healthiest source of fats and I highly recommend you guys to cook with it as well.
when I got my meat this week, I decided to get two weeks worth of meat. So right here you see me get chicken thighs from Costco. Costco is one of my favorite stores to get my source of protein because they give you a great value and it saves me a lot of money as well. So right here you see me only use three packets out of six. The other three packages of chicken thighs I put in the freezer for the upcoming week. You know, it saves me money, guys. Now, you might be asking, William, why chicken thighs? And I like chicken thighs a little bit more because it has a little bit more flavor. You know, it doesn't have that dryness as a chicken breast and i do cook chicken breast as well i'm actually gonna make a video on what i do with chicken breast but for today's video we are cooking chicken thighs and chicken thighs does have a little bit of more fat on it so right here you see me cutting out the fat when cooking potatoes you want to have it on a medium heat make sure to keep stirring it so it gets all around cooked so the next thing that I'm going to do is right here you see me chopping up some onions and be really careful when you chop up onions guys the other time I almost cut my fingers so just be cautious and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in a bowl and I am going to mix it up with my ground beef. So for my ground beef, I also bought two weeks worth of ground beef. So if you think I'm going to use it all, I am not, guys. I'm just going to use half of it. So if you're saying like, damn, William, that's a lot of meat. Guys, I used half of it and the other half I put in the freezer for the upcoming week. So the next thing that I like to do is I like to put it in my rice. Now I want you guys to keep in mind that you can do simple white rice as well. But me personally, I like to add a little bit of flavor to my rice. So right here what you see me doing is putting some rice on some olive oil. And what I would do is fry the rice and then I would put this little tomato sauce called El Pato right and then uh, i would mix it up and put two cups of water as well and after that i'll make sure that the water comes to a heat boiling heat and after that i cover the lid and then i put it on low temperature all right now you don't have to go through all this trouble you can just simply cook plain old white rice Now, you might be like, William, why go through all this trouble? And the fact of the matter is, guys, it's not trouble at all. Like, this is easy for me. You guys have to understand that this is a lifestyle, right? And this is the life that I chose, okay? I know a lot of people might think I'm weird, but, you know, I'd rather be weird than average, right? But anyways, you guys like my little mug? I saw it at a local store and I was like, I'm gonna take this. <sighs> Stay hydrated. Now, I am cooking a lot of food, but you guys have to understand that this is for the week, right? I'm scheduled to work the next five days. And, you know, I know peak season is a couple weeks from now, but personally, 
where I'm working at, we're already filling it, right? We have a little bit more than average stops and packages, so you know what I mean? This is fuel for the future. I remember I heard this quote one time, and it goes something like, you're going to be older much longer than you are younger. Let me repeat that, let me repeat that for you guys. You are going to be older much longer than you are going to be young. The way I interpreted this quote is that what is your young self going to do to take care of your old self, right? And this is what I'm doing, right? I'm taking care of my body right now. So down the road, I'm able to play with my kids, right? I'm able to run with them, right? And guys, personally, I'm a big wrestling fan, right? And I'm not talking about WWE. I'm talking about folk style, freestyle wrestling. And, you know, I want one day in the future... You know, I want to wrestle with my kids, right? I want to teach them a couple of things. And how, by doing these foods, right? I'm thinking long-term, right? It's all about longevity, right? You know, what you could do to help take care of yourself for your future self, right? Is eat good quality foods. Like I said in my earlier videos, I'm not perfect, right? Like, like 80% of the time I'm eating good and then 20%. You know, I eat junk food every here and there, right? When I am at work, you know, I do meal prep and I meal prep foods like this. Now, when my rice comes to a boiling temperature, this is where I would put another side of vegetables and I would mix it up, right? And then after you mix it up, you put the lid back on and you would put the temperature on low heat, okay? And then slowly but surely the rice will cook and after that, your rice will be done. Now, you might be asking, how long does this usually take you? And to be honest, like if you have a variety of foods, right? So let's say I just kept it simple. It'll probably take me like an hour, hour and a half, right? To get everything together. But since we're making quite a bit, we're making a variety of foods right it's gonna take me like two hours two and a half right but it's worth it right at the end of the day I feel like personally I feel like it's worth it and uh, I highly suggest you guys try it you know try it out for a week try it out for a month try it out for two months who knows maybe you'll see some weight loss right and just a little side note now I wanted to give you guys a quick little tip so I meal prep for the upcoming five days right so it's gonna be a total two meals per day when I go to work right so what I do is my first four meals right because there's two in one day I put them in the fridge but the last six meals I freeze them now why do I freeze them is because I notice when I don't freeze them you know like when it comes to my third or fourth day and I leave it in the fridge you know it tastes kind of weird so to keep it nice and fresh we have to freeze the foods, guys. Just a little quick tip, something you probably already know, but if you didn't, now you know, okay? Just a little side tip I wanted to share with you guys, and we gotta get back to the food, because it's burning. So after I get a little bit of free space on the stove, this is where I would put my chicken thighs on the little pan that I have, and I want you guys to keep in mind that the ground beef, since it's a lot of meat, it does take time to cook all the way through. So you just want to keep stirring, stirring it.
All right, well, I just finished up putting my food in the fridge and the freezer too, you know, and like I said earlier, so what I usually do is I put my first two days worth of meals. So for me, I eat twice a day, so I'm gonna put four containers in the fridge and the rest of the food I'm gonna put in the freezer. Now, why do I do that? I do that because I noticed that on the third, fourth, or even fifth day, my food starts to taste a little weird. So by me freezing it, it keeps it nice and fresh, right? So that about wraps it up for my video, guys. I wanna leave you with a closing message. You can do anything you put your mind to. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I'll see you guys in the next one.